Welcome to my workshop, which has changed a little bit. It's a little different, but kind of the same. We've made some additions, we've made some updates, and the place has sort of morphed to fit the things that we do here on the channel. And so now in 2021, I'm gonna take you on a tour of my workshop and office. So first we'll start in the bike workshop and not a whole lot has changed here. We've added a few tools here, but the big change is appearance wise. I put this vinyl banner up on the wall and in LED going all the way around to just make it look a little bit more interesting. So one thing in the bike area that's continued to grow is this system of drawers over here. And as you can see, we have everything from cable crimps to ferrules to Ugh. Since the last shop update video, we've had a chance to use some things and see how they worked out. I love these stairs because it makes it really easy for me to get up onto my workbench. It's a huge workbench. We have bikes up there. There's lots of stuff so I have to clean up here. But the downside is puppies can get up it too. Oh. And so usually I have the leaf blower here to block Oscar from getting up. And by the time you watch this video, you're gonna know why I have to put some kind of more substantial system in place because we're actually gonna have a baby that can get up here soon. <gasps> we'll quickly glaze through some other things that have changed just a little bit. This is the gear storage area. I use it heavily. Only thing that's changed here is we added some backpack hooks to the bottom and we added a SRAM access charger up here for dropper posts and shifters and things like that. Another thing, we have of course the addition of the gravel bike and also this bike rack that Kevin gave to me for the two million. If I had a lot of these, it would really crowd up the garage, but this one over here is pretty cool. So one thing that's gonna stick out is we have way fewer bikes here and that's because it's gonna be months before I can ride any of them. So I have them all hanging up and I just have my gravel bike here because this is gonna be the first bike I'm gonna be able to ride after I heal from the surgery. So the next thing is this table saw that I put right along the bench. I made it so we can use the bench as an extension of this table saw. It's sort of worked out. It's nice to always have easy access to a table saw. It's nice that it's on the bench, but I can only cut strips of up to like nine or 10 inches on this thing. The guard just doesn't move very far, but it still comes in handy. Maybe one day we'll upgrade it. We added a spool for air tools. Usually I'm just doing grips and things like this, but now I can pop this off and actually bring it outside and pump up car tires. We were hooking up a long hose for that before. Now we have a spool, makes it a lot easier. So speaking of labeled drawers, this one is completely out of control. I have to get a new one mounted up here, something bigger. Like for instance, my magnet drawer, it sticks to the other drawers because there's so many big, powerful magnets in it. To make a long story short, we have outgrown this. And so my advice to you is if you're gonna set up a set of these plastic organizer drawers in your garage, get some really big ones to start because eventually it's gonna get full. So here is our brand new, totally revamped office area. And I'm gonna take you through the changes that we've made. So first of all, we put up blinds. Uh, the reason we put up the blinds is anytime we're filming in this direction, there's just an open window behind the person's head. Since the pandemic, I've been having a ton of meetings on my computer through Zoom and Google Meet. Kind of embarrassing to me that I have this big YouTube channel and everything looks like garbage behind me. And we decided to fix up the shop and make it a little bit more interesting. Number one, I got my wife involved so she could do a little bit of color coordination for me. Before we had a gray wall, a gray couch, a gray floor and a gray carpet. And now we boosted the color up just a little bit. So as you can see here, we have pieces of artwork from fans of the channel. This Burm Peak Ranger District sign, which is very special to me, it was given to me by fans of the channel. I put a backlight on it and made it just kind of float there. So there's a little color accent behind me when I'm video chatting, podcasting, or anything like that. And my friend Stu made this drama mural way back in the day, and it's one of my favorite pieces ever. But because I can't really showcase all of those things usually, I'm gonna use this opportunity right now to show you some of the pieces of art that have been sent to us. So we've been storing these things in a nice bin so they don't get dusty. Gonna have to do something I probably shouldn't do right now. 
So first of all, I'm not gonna show you everything. Some of it's hanging up in the house. I mean, we love so much of this stuff. Like, unbelievably detailed pictures of drama. We have so much of this. It's all very special. This mug, you know, almost made us cry when we see it. Drama with little angel wings. People send pictures of their bikes, get tons of sketches of my bike with pretty much the right geometry and everything. Picture of me, I can't draw like that. And then the really cool stuff. All the marks from the grinder and it's just so cool. People will make drawings of things and then actually send us the real version of it. I have this pack right here on my gravel bike. We're gonna test it out tomorrow. This one's so cool. I've been trying to find the perfect place for this. Somebody sent me an Oscar sticker. One Oscar sticker and it's the most perfect Oscar sticker ever. It's like very, very good likeness of Oscar. So I thought it'd be cool to just share some of these on the channel and to all the people who've never gotten a response from us or uh, they didn't hear anything back. We've seen it all and it's all very special. So here in the computer area, things haven't changed much. I did get a new computer. I've got an iMac Pro. Uh, people make fun of us for editing on Macs, but we like Final Cut Pro, so that's the only machine that can run it. So another thing we definitely have to talk about is the recording booth. The one that I have to crawl under my desk to get into. So we've made a few changes to it. Number one, I made it so I could turn on the light in there by talking to the name that shall not be said on video. So especially with the injury, it gets really old having to climb under the desk to get in here, but it's a really good recording booth. Like there's no sort of reverb or anything in here. It's just, it's perfect. And so I'm gonna leave it alone. Not gonna make any changes to it. I'm still gonna crawl under the desk. Only have to do it like, you know, once a week or whatever. So, all right. So recent addition to the shop is this micro crawler course, which Curtis and I built from cardboard boxes and pieces of plaster and all sorts of garbage. And it's not gonna live here. We're gonna need this space to do projects. And so we gotta move this down to the Neckbeard station. But because we're gonna be building more onto it, I wanna be able to open the doors and let the paint fumes vent. So we're not gonna move it down there just yet. Here it stands, looks pretty cool. So speaking of RC cars, we're gonna take a quick detour into the basement so I can show you the Neckbeard station. You saw it briefly, but this is sort of like an extension of the shop. So as you know, we've been doing a lot more RC car stuff since the injury, and I can't fit it all in the shop upstairs without things getting cluttered. And so we introduced the Neckbeard station not too long ago. So first of all, we've outgrown this little thing right here to hold all spare parts and tools and things. So I've gotten a big chest of plastic drawers, which we're gonna mount up on the wall and label. And that's gonna be for all my little spare bits, nuts, bolts, things like that. Haven't gotten around to it. Transmitters generally go right here in this cardboard box. Um, broken RC cars kind of get scattered all over the bench. We have more LiPo batteries scattered around here than I really feel safe with inside my home. All USB chargers attached right here all together. Bigger, more advanced chargers are all over here. And then we have our desk lamp. And that's all we can really go over with the neck beer station right now. Let's go back up to the real shop. Make pee pee, Oscar. Pee pee. So that's our shop update for 2021. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for being patient while I recover from this injury. I know there's been a big change in content, a lack of content. That's all gonna change soon, big time. And so I hope you'll come along with us. Thanks for riding with me today and I'll see you next time. <laughs> hey!